Well, I'm thinking of um, my 1611 recording here, which is of um, John 1 and um, the first 16 verses. And, um, and John 17, of course. And um, I'm thinking of the transformation of, that it means for you to take it to heart that you understand God, your God, to be your Heavenly Father. And therefore you are his child. How that um, transforms and qualifies your life. But what strikes me is a particular loveliness of it, which is that this way to God, this understanding of him being a heavenly father is so simple, isn't it? It's so wonderfully open to all who have enough understanding to appreciate parenthood, in some sense the role their dad plays in the lives that typically uh, mankind has had, even if it hadn't happened to you, that you know somehow you lost your father very early on uh, in your childhood. That because of the culture you live in, you've come to understand in some sense the role of father. I mean, I've typified him as I, as I see it in, for most cultures, that is um, the provider, the sustainer, the the cause of your being, you know, you come into existence because mum and dad make love. Uh, they come together, they commit to each other, ideally in some sense. In the culture, it's seen as the ideal, isn't it? They love and care and provide a home and, and so on and so forth. And that we're to see God in that way and that if we do, well, we get things right. We understand our right relationship with him. And we grow spiritually accordingly. Um, well, we do if we're occupied much in thankfulness to God for all his loving kindness to us to us and all that we value, that he's the author of all, giver and sustainer of all, and loves us and cares for us. And the more we dwell on such, in other words, whatsoever's good and lovely, think on these things, the more we give thanks and praise to him accordingly. Obviously, the more hopeful we become we realize his goodness. We appreciate and value all that has come about in the right way as him being the author of such, the source of it such. We value him. Our trust and faith in him grows the more and more we see his goodness to us. Even from our narrow, selfish point of view, not just even, but especially. Our love for him grows. Our devotion to him grows. We are filled with this gratitude. Filled with hope. Trust in him. Do you see, this simple practice of thankfulness brings the great spiritual foundation 
to life eternal brings our devotion to him. And this is not something that's just for the wise or the capable or, you know, this is for all who can receive it into their heart. The understanding that God is their heavenly Father. This is life eternal to know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou sent. And Jesus is the spelling out of that way, isn't it? The fleshly story, the um, this is what we mean by. And we've got Jesus, a life, a story of his life, to bless us, to lead us into realizing your God as your heavenly Father, and focusing in this way leads you to a life that starts to clarify your view better and better day by day as you live out your understanding of your God and you get to know him better by this good news gospel living, this trusting him as your heavenly bub, you become clearer and clearer. Your faith, your hope blossoms. Your joy, obviously your joy overflows because you're preoccupied with trust and love in him thankfulness. So you're filled with hope and joy and trust and love and devotion. Do you see the things that you might have thought, well how do I increase my faith, my hope, my joy, my love, my devotion? Oh incredibly simply, just by practicing saying thank you. As continually as you find a blessing. <laughs> Continuously it will be. You'll live in the love, in the oneness of you and your Heavenly Father. And you will become such a blessing to those around you. Because the love of God, the goodness of God, just flows through you, from within. Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is within you. And that that's where he dwells. With the Father. That we might be one. It's all John 17, isn't it? It's so worth learning, becoming so familiar with John 17, that it, let it be such a blessing to you. So, this recording, this comment is just to say the obvious, that what a lovely way of rescuing us all. What a lovely way this is. Simply coming to know your God as your Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, so much. Thank you, Heavenly Father.